All right, hey everyone. Just wanted to show you another survival kit here. This is uh, made using a stainless steel lunchbox by GA Home Favor. Uh, I got it on Amazon. 1200 mLs, I believe it is, a capacity. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. We'll go through the box once everything's unpacked. This is a uh, orange bandana just to keep everything from rattling around in here. Go ahead and move this off. I have two of the Titan Survival Emergency blankets, Mylar blankets, uh, low profile camo, and then orange for signaling. Uh, these are three disposable paper coffee filters for filtering out sediment when uh, purifying water. And then all these uh, Ziploc bags are reusable. Uh, two disposable toothbrushes with uh, built in uh, toothpaste in the head and then I have uh, you can see there seven caffeine tablets and five salt sticks the caffeine is 200 milligrams each so seven days total and this kit is designed for a seven day survival excursion uh, wristwatch this is a Sunto wrist compass some rudimentary sighting ability this is the medical kit Dump it all out here. So various bandages for minor cuts and scrapes. Uh, four packets of triple antibiotic ointment. Three tagoderms to cover any kind of uh, larger cuts. Uh, Steri strips. I have six of the large and then two of the smalls, which contain three each. So six small, six large. We're closing up more uh, advanced cuts in the skin, and then a surgical sterile blade. Uh, Snow Peak Titanium Spork. This is a mini Bic lighter and I'll show you what I did to this. Modified it slightly. If I can open this, pack it up. And the way, I, the reason I modified it is because uh, it basically extends the life of this mini big. There we go. All right, so wrapped it a couple times with Gorilla Tape, two inches, and then I uh, wrapped it with this wax jute candle wick, and then placed uh, two Ranger bands, uh, all of which is flammable. And then the reason for this is you can light the uh, candle wick and then use that to light fires, and you basically extend the life of the lighter itself. You're not burning fuel. Uh, six stormproof matches with two strikers. Bunch of random little tools here, or things you can fac uh, fashion into tools. So, several bobby pins, which can be used for multiple different reasons. Uh, three hair bands. This is an ITS tactical little lockpick set with a little built in saw. Kind of cool. Um, handcuff key and four safety pins. Next, I have uh, petroleum jelly packets, four total, uh, lip balm, skin lotion, fire starting, a survival fishing kit made by ASC Glide, Best Glide ASC. It's got 50 feet of 12 pound test. And then I added a di uh, some additional components from Wazoo Survival, some of their fishing stuff. Uh, this is a Diasharp titanium, or not titanium, it's Diasharp fine credit card knife sharpener. So for emergency in the field knife sharpening. Uh, two packets of Benadryl for allergic reactions or a sleep aid. This is a uh, Leatherman Skeletool CX with the 154CM blade, locking blade, which holds an edge pretty long. Pliers, wire cutter, and screwdriver, as well as bottle opener, and then this can double to help take this out of the fire so you're not touching it with your hands. Uh, Wizzy wipes, TP tabs, or hygiene tabs, four total. Can also be used to start fires. 
Uh, I have five packets of the uh, potable aqua tabs, so 10 tabs total, 10 liters of water purification ability. Two inch roll of Gorilla Tape and Gorilla Super Glue. And uh, I can never have too much duct tape because it really helps uh, with multiple different uses. Number 42 bank line, 20 feet, uh, 12 feet of Atwood micro cord. 100 pound breaking strength. This is the fire component, so uh, Yuko Fire Spark with some Tinder Quick tabs, um, SE Survival Magnesium slash Ferro Rod, as well as this is by Uberlin with some Ranger bands on it, and it's basically just a section of wax jute that you can fluff up and then strike a Ferro Rod onto, and then basically acts as a form of fire tinder as well as four of the wazi survival uh, waxed cotton uh, fire starting this is a wax nylon with a sail needle for sewing up clothing a section of kevlar cordage a frog lube packet for uh, lubrication of knives tools Let's see uh, half of a comb messy hair and then I have three sections of two feet long one inch wide uh, gorilla tape from Wazi Survival so six feet total of gorilla slash duct tape uh, tops knives whistle with the lanyard and a vigorous band Leatherman this is the Huntsman has a large small blade uh, scissors saw which is pretty good for striking ferro rods um, and then, as well as the tweezers and then I also opted for the fire ant small ferro rod that replaces the toothpick and then this section of fire ant uh, tinder in the back so this can be used to start a fire fire cord lanyard with some additional fire starting capabilities This is an Anchor Emergency External Battery, 3500 mAh, uh, emergency phone charges or flashlight. Uh, this is a small iPhone cord as well as a micro USB cord. Through Night TI3 version 2, AAA light, uh, various different brightness levels, and I put the high vis tape on there in case I drop it, and I can also fashion a lanyard in the field if I need to. This is an Olight rechargeable keychain light with the micro USB there so I can use the anchor and then the micro USB cord is to recharge in the field if I need to. High vis tape as well. And then lastly I have three lithium AAA batteries for the through night flashlight. Four total of the uh, larger reusable zip ties so just a zip tie but you can reuse it which is kind of cool then i have four wazi survival orange non-reusable zip ties so a little bit smaller and they're not reusable uh small sharpie writing on stuff windows leaving messages what whatnot this is the communication. So I have a Fresno lens, starting fires, first aid use. Uh, this is a Coglin mirror, emergency survival single mirror. And then I put a piece of reflective tape for uh, nighttime signaling on the back. These are Wazi survival trail markers, orange on one side, white on the other, reflective at night, marking trails, uh, tying up uh, water purification bags. Several sections of Write in the Rain notebook paper with four large paper clips. And then lastly in here I have a Fisher Space Pen insert. Uh, electrical tape keeping the cap on. And then a section of two inch Gorilla Tape. So a lot of Gorilla Tape in here. Can't have too much. This is a hacksaw blade with electrical tape on it, cutting metal. And then three Wazi survival water purification bags. These are kind of cool because they're food safe. 
and you can actually use these to boil water. Um, multiple videos online. But basically, you fill this with water, tie it off, place it over some hot coals, and uh, it's ready to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, so which higher than the boiling temp for water. You don't have a direct flame impinge on it, and you can boil water as well as use the uh, potable aqua tabs to purify water. Uh, this is the reflect, or not reflective, but orange bandana, 100% cotton signaling, uh, hygiene, bandaging, and then can also be used to make char cloth in this. Oh yeah, last thing. Victorinox nail clippers. These are kind of cool because they compress down into a pretty small size, but they're actually like, uh, they're pretty useful. And then this is the container. Stainless steel, food grade. Uh, can be used, like I said, to boil water, cook food. Use the Leatherman to uh, put it on the fire, take it off. And then the, as well as the, the lid can be used as a makeshift uh, frying pan. So just take the seal out and then place this on coals or set up some rocks and then you can cook fish or whatever else you uh, desire to fry. So that's basically it for the Lunchbox Survival Kit. Hope you guys liked the video. Please like, subscribe, and add any comments if you have any questions. Thank you.